In this video, we will cover more of the carousel feature. We will create two more carousel lists. And by the way, you can create up to three different carousel lists. And we will show you how to edit your list. To create a carousel list of your favorite commentaries, you start off by opening a commentary. Then you click on the Manage the Carousel icon, and that opens the editor window. To create a carousel list of commentaries, look for a commentary you want, and double click on it. You can also select multiple commentaries by holding down the control key as you click on your commentaries. Then click on the double arrow button to add your commentaries to your list. When you are done adding commentaries to your list, just click on the OK button and that will save your list. As stated in the beginning of this video, you can create up to three carousel lists. So far, we have created a Bible carousel list and a commentary list. To create a third list, open a book from another category that supports carousel lists. To identify if a book supports the carousel feature, look for the carousel icons in the bottom left corner of the book window. For this example, I have opened the AMG Concise Bible Dictionary. And I have turned this dictionary to the word salvation. Now I am going to create a carousel list that includes my favorite dictionaries. Now when I flip through this carousel list, I get all my favorite dictionaries. And if you notice, they are all open to the word salvation. I did not tell the program to do that. This is just another example of how smart and intuitive the program is. You can also change or edit your carousel list. The carousel editor allows you to move a book up or down in your list. To move a book up in the list, click on the book. Then click on the up button. Again and again until the book is in the right position in the list. Then click the OK button and that saves the Young's Literal Translation in its new position in the list. You can also remove a book from the list. To remove a book from the list, click on the book, then click on the left arrows. To remove more than one book from the list, click on one book. Hold down the control key on your keyboard, then click on another book. Once you have selected all the books you want to remove, click on the left arrows. To remove all the books in the list, click on the select all link. Then click on the left arrows. Then, don't forget to click on the OK button to save your changes.